Hi, my name is Sarah Avery, and I am the Executive Director of Quanta Change. So this is the first of two videos I'm going to do about why I'm not a big fan of actively setting boundaries. So setting boundaries is about asserting what's okay for you or not as a way to try and get people to treat you with respect. And if that's working for you, that's fantastic. It's really vitally important to know your own wants and needs and to be able to live a life in which they are honored and respected. And that's a goal that I have for all of my clients. It's just about how we get there because I have seen a couple of ways in which boundary setting can really become problematic. The first is that when some people assert their boundaries, those boundaries just get run over, over and over again demolished, even ridiculed, no matter how many different ways that person tries to set the boundaries. Does that sound familiar? It's just awful, right? So first, let me say that the person running over your boundaries is completely responsible for their bad behavior, completely. But if this is a pattern that keeps happening for you with many people in many different settings, despite trying every which way to change it, that suggests that the root of this pattern for you is something called learned distress. And it's stored in your brain in a way that most methods just can't get at. Uh, but we're going to talk about how you can get to it today. So learned distress is the quanta change term for the feeling that you absorbed very early in life, that there's something wrong with you just being yourself. And learned distress becomes the automatic generating force behind all of our negative situations and interactions and relationships even. So specifically, the root of this issue is the piece of learned distress in which you feel like you don't matter just for being yourself. And when we feel like we don't matter, some people, through their own learned distress, are able to treat us that way, that they don't matter. Again, they're fully responsible for that behavior, but we can actually do something on our side to radically change things. So here's the problem. Learned distress is stored in a way, in this deep feeling level that makes it inaccessible to your rational thinking brain. So that's to say that just doing something differently, like speaking up differently for yourself or using a different strategy to set boundaries, can't change that deep feeling level at which you feel like there's something wrong with you and you don't matter. So, and that's really what's generating that awful pattern over and over again. In other words, you cannot think or act your way out of your learned distress. But there's good news because Quanta Change, the work that I've been doing for 23 years, was actually developed to get to that deep feeling level and peel off layers of learned distress permanently. When you do that, your core well-being expands to take the place that learned distress was sitting. So well-being is the feeling that you are just great being yourself and that you really do matter just for being you. And the more space that feeling takes up inside of you, the more people actually start treating you that way, that you really do matter. They start honoring your wants and needs sometimes without you even having to say anything at all. So this really is how it works. This is what I've been seeing for my clients for more than two decades now. So let me give you an example. I had a client once who just loved Christmas and her husband really didn't like Christmas at all. But she'd, you know, she'd been working on this. She was telling me about how most years she just felt frazzled and really angry around the holidays because she was doing everything herself and she was exhausted and her husband really wasn't into it and wasn't helping her. And so she'd gotten rid of some big layers of learned distress and the holidays rolled back around and her husband happened to mention how much he didn't like Christmas again. And she just quietly said once, you know what? I really love Christmas and I'm going to have a great holiday this year. And she said it was 
it was crazy. She said it was like he was a different person. All of a sudden, he started pitching in. He helped her with decorations. He helped her um, with other people's presents. He was really thoughtful about the presents he got her that year, which was a big change. Um, everything changed. And she said, I didn't do anything. I said that one thing just offhandedly once, and everything changed. It was like he was a different person. This is what I see all the time. When we change this underlying feeling about being ourselves, everything can change, including how other people treat us. So if you would like to experience this kind of change, the first thing to do is to find out which of the six patterns of learned distress you have. They are called the idealist, the perfectionist, the optimist, the caregiver, the defeatist, and the dictator. And to do that, you're going to go to my website and take a free, in-depth, scientifically validated personality test that measures learned distress. And I will send you your report with your pattern and the kinds of positive changes that people tend to see when they have your pattern. Um, so to do that, you go to my website, quantachange.com. That's Q-U-A-N-T-A change.com and click on the free report button. And I'm going to come back and do another video on boundaries soon. So please take a look for that. And then I'll be back with even more ways in which quanta change really can help you feel good being you. Music